Stock and Land has made an impromptu visit to the uh, new Mortlake Sale Yards, the Western Victorian Livestock Exchange, and um, I found um, Tim Knoll with me. Uh, Tim's the appointed manager of the facility. Tim, um, uh, production seems to be going, construction seems to be going along very, very well. Uh, you on target? Yes, no, we're definitely on target for an opening sale in mid-January. So, so far, it's uh, on, on target. Yeah, so we're standing in the uh, bullpens that have been uh, constructed here at the moment. Just give us a, a bit of a rough idea of uh, what the, the, uh, the layout will be of the bull sale. So we'll have 120 selling pens for the bull. As you can see, bullpens are I've got 80% completed now. We have rubber matting to go on the floors. We have some little bits of uh, engineering to, to repair. And then the bullpens will then be complete. Yeah. So you've got a little bit of, a, of the overhead, um, the roof on, and they're working on the lighting system too at the same time. T talk us through the, the roof structure and what that's all about. So as you can see, our roof's split into different levels. And the idea of the different levels and the openings north, south, east, west is to get airflow through here to try and get rid of that ammonia smell, keep fresh air around the animals for better animal health. Also with the gaps that we've got in the way it's designed is to get rid of that acoustic noise so we don't have a lot of noise bouncing off the ground. The noise can actually escape out through the roof. Tim, in this section of the yards we've got the, uh, this is the main um, selling set, selling lanes. Uh, just uh, you've got a, a fairly unique um, uh, gate set up. Just yes. Yeah, so we'll just shut this one behind us. With our gates, we have full size pens and then the options to go to half size pen. But once that's completed, we then come down and shut. The main gate. So that's, that gives us one complete pen size there now. And then we have the option depending on the line-up of cattle, uh, the way that the buyer and the vendor want to have their, or the agent want to have their cattle set up, we have the option of putting a split gate in the middle, which will just chain around the pole, so you can run half him off that side and half him off on the other. Again, it's just an option that we've got in place. Tim, in this section of the uh, facility, we've got already got some of the flooring going. Would you like to explain what uh, what we've got? Certainly. So in our flooring we have post peelings, we have sand, river sand, we have sawdust and a minus seven rock. Yeah, and the, the, uh, the reason for that selection of composition? It's been trialled before in other sale yards, so we've gone for that. Sand we know is probably five star rated. Still plenty of work to be done in this area, Tim. Uh, just uh, the uh, total area of the roof. So total area of the roofing is 2.8 hectares under cover. So the boys are on schedule to have the have the roof completed on time. All the water is self-contained, so once it comes off, we've got a large fresh water dam out the other side, and all that water will be retained and used through the facility. Yeah. Now you've put a uh, a light chalk mark of uh, January 22 on the uh, on the calendar for a um, for a. Uh, possibly the first sale date, but you will have a, uh, an information day before Christmas, you're saying? Yes, the, that is correct. The, the first sale date is for mid to uh, late January, um, and our open day will probably be the second or third week in December, most likely the second, uh, and we'll have that on social media and, and through the uh, uh, newspaper outlets as well. Uh, agents accommodation and uh, buildings here, Tim, uh, well on the way. Yes, very well on target to be finished on time. We have uh, 15 officers, uh, 11 foundation agents all have an office each, obviously. We have a first aid room, uh, then we've got other um, commitments to other people, trucking companies. We have uh, one cross in one office, a first aid room, and then the spare office uh, with maybe a media room. Uh, of, co of course, Tim, there will be catering on site for, um, for, uh, with a canteen and, uh, and director's offices and all that sort of stuff. Certainly. So we have quite a large cafeteria over there that we've got the tender process out for at the moment. Inside there we have 
uh, bifold doors so we can split it off to the meeting room as well for the administration officers and management officers uh, at the front of the building. Well, we'll come back and see uh, how far you've, um, you've got along with the project. Uh, thanks for uh, taking us on on a very short notice. No worries at all, anytime.